Newly elected leaders in the city of St. Louis is not the only big change on the horizon. Next year, the city is going to be transitioning from 28 wards down to 14, so cutting the board in half. But some board members say more constituents means more money. Jenna Ray breaks down a potential 100% pay increase for aldermen and how their pay compares to leaders in other cities. I am not running, so this is, there is no personal gain in this for me. Uh, I just want to leave things better. That's why longtime alderwoman Carol Howard is sponsoring Board Bill 119, which would nearly double city alderman's yearly salary. I just think it's a fair way to start off with a new slate and a new government. Uh, and, and I think it's only fair that people get paid for their service. In April, the city goes down to 14 wards instead of 28, which is one reason for Howard's proposal. She also says she hopes increasing pay for aldermen will entice more qualified people to run and could bring more employees to other parts of city government too. If we don't get people in here soon, we're really in bad shape. Right now, St. Louis aldermen make $34,700 a year. Howard wants to see that number hit 72,000. In comparison, St. Louis County Councilmen make only 20,000. Kansas City, Missouri Councilmen bring home just over 70,000 a year. And in Milwaukee, their elected governed body makes 73,000. If I think we get paid plenty well, and I think that this is crazy. 23rd Ward Alderman Joe Vaccaro says an alderman pay raise is unacceptable. When we're telling firefighters, policemen, ambulance workers, the people to pick up our trash, you're only worth about 45 or 50,000, but we are worth 70. It's insane. Vicaro says he plans to run for office again, but wants the current board to focus on improving pay for underpaid folks like first responders. I think it's the wrong message to send to every city worker that's out there that we are better than you. Howard's on the same page when it comes to raises for all city workers, especially first responders, but says aldermen deserve that bump too. In St. Louis, Jenna Ray, News 4.